Hey guys, what's going on? Brad Fusion here with some more Terraria. Now, in the previous Hectic episode I just finished recording, I got myself quite a lot of loot, and I am going to demonstrate at the start of this episode what I actually had picked up. So, one of the first things on the list is the Furious Water Bolt. Now, Water Bolt was one of the first items I was actually looking for for a while now, as it was one of the earliest magical items I actually ever knew of. And this is essentially well, it's a water bolt, but as you just noticed, this water bolt actually bounces off surfaces. So it is great for, uh, well, I guess crowd control. It does dissipate once it actually hits a target, but you can fill up a room uh, quite easily. I think it bounces, I think, set, uh, sorry, five times, is it? I think it destroys on the fifth. Yes, it, it hits, it bounces off four times and destroys on the fifth. Now, you already saw my sapphire staff, essentially, same thing, but a little, more, a little bit more damage and it doesn't actually um, bounce off things. The, the space gun, you already saw that, and it's probably my favourite thing so far. The blue moon, you've also seen this from the previous episode, I can drag it around use it as defence. Now, some of the newer items would be the magic missile, which I did actually use at the end of the episode, which is probably one of my favourite things right now, and, you know, it's just... It it's gonna allow me to be greater against uh, those dark casters, which were a pain in the ass for me. Now this is something I actually had in my inventory that I didn't actually use in the previous episode, simply because I was using another one. It wasn't as good. This is the Godly Aqua Scepter. Now, what does this do? Twenty magical damage, but it also has increased thirteen percent and five percent critical chat. What the hell was that? Something just had unplugged itself. I don't know what that was. Um, and 50% knockback as well. So it's got a decent knockback. It's actually quite fast, but it does drain through the magic kind of quickly. I don't think I'll be using this to extinguish fires anytime soon, but you know. And since it's almost night time, I figured I can use it on some mobs as well. This does a base of, I think it's, well, I think it's around 20 damage, but I think with the boost, it actually goes up a little bit more than that. And the handgun, which uses musket balls, if I'm correct, that's what I have in here, musket balls, yes. Now, I think I can enchant the musket balls for something else, but the handgun is essentially like the other gun I had. Uh, it's not exactly, I wouldn't call it anything special, but it gets the job done. And I think it fires pretty quickly as well, too, so. But for the, mo for the most time, I won't be using this because it does cost ammunition, and ammunition isn't something which I explained I'd like using. So, for the meantime, it's going to be this, which I think is just as effective, if not more effective. Yeah, it's actually more effective, so... Yeah, the space gun wins. And it does... hang on, does this have bullet drop? It doesn't have bullet drop, but at the same time, I still prefer my other weapons. So I'm going to put this away in my chest of weapons, which is here with my other gun. That's right, the Undertaker was the other weapon. So this thing on there. I'm going to keep these on me at all times. I don't think I really need all of them, but... I like to keep my weapons arsenal up here for use, and I'm actually unsure as what to what, what I should be doing right now. Like I know I've got a fair bit of the sky to cover to look for another, uh, what do you call them, sky temple, and I have a feeling there's one right here as well, just because I haven't been here yet. Now I think I still have my umbrella. Where is that umbrella? There it is. I knew I had it somewhere. So I might actually go up to that tower I had previously made. Uh, where is it? Here, and build across with all the dirt that I have. And just to see if I can actually encounter myself another uh, another tower. Actually, another thing I did pick up last episode that I didn't actually get to explain was the cobalt shield I have here. Now this thing actually uh, gives me a slight defense and grants me immunity knockback, which is something that, I'd, if you didn't notice, was actually one of my biggest problems because I was always getting knocked back into spikes and stuff like that as well. So having that is actually quite handy. Now there is something I actually put away here that I don't think I should have. Where did I put that? I don't have it on me, do I? No. I put, okay, I have an item that I put away and I don't know where I put it. I only have eight chests, I can't lose it. No, here it is. No, that's not. That's a spike bottle on the cloud. This one. 
But, um, I was going to consider getting rid of the flippers for the meantime, so I can use more of my jump. So I'm going to go out to that other thing. Is there a quicker way? I guess using that would be quicker as well. So I'm going to use the top of the tower, go across, and then go back up again. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've gotten quite a fair way into this game so far, and I'm only up to episode 20 or so, so... Eventually, I'm going to have to ask you guys for more challenges to do, or else I'm going to run out of things. Hopefully, it won't come to be running out of things to do, because... As you guys know, I really do like playing this game. I don't want to see this series die out, either. I don't know if you guys like watching me play this, too, which is just awesome. Okay, let's... See how far we can get right now. Because I don't actually have to worry about my, um my fall because they've got the umbrella so okay so whatever it is I haven't been able to see it yet well at least that covers a part of the sky that I wanted to check I'm pretty sure so when I get to the ground I should be pretty close to the tower hopefully I think I'm way below the uh, spawning yep there we go and I should be coming up on the tower. So what did I check so far? I checked all of that. Was oh, which leaves only a small portion. Yeah, my character is so mobile right now with all my uh, abilities that I have on. I've got the, uh, well, I've got the movement speed increase as well, but with the umbrella, the double jump, and the boots, and the Hermes boots as well. Which they combined to make something, I actually can't remember what that thing was called. Uh, okay, so it's pretty dark up here, and I'm pretty sure uh, a run and jump off this should be enough to determine whether or not there is something up here. If a harpy is not going to get to my road. That was a waste of a bit of boost, but... Should be too bad. Okay, so I don't think there is actually anything here. I think I may have just uh, messed it up myself. Let me quick check the map quickly. Well, there could have been something over there and I stopped, but... This pretty much says, hey look Brad, there's nothing here yet. Like I said, there could be something right there. But I kind of doubt that. I could have gone across... Uh, actually, I'll do that again real quickly. Just so I can be completely sure and I shouldn't have stopped like I did. But... Forgive me. Got those cars driving around. It's it's 5 a.m. in the morning. But yeah, it, it's actually around 5 a.m. in the morning, and I'm here making videos. So uh, that's dedication, I guess. So insomnia. I I, I like to sweeten it by saying it's dedication. <laughs> no, uh, not that I can't sleep. It's it hasn't really got much to do with that. It's well, I I mean I want to do videos, obviously, but that's not why I'm up at 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. Jeez, come on, Brad. <laughs> Get your times right. Okay, this should be a great drift. If I don't see it now, then it's just, it's definitely not there. Which sucks, because I was really hoping to see another floating island. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, so that eliminates that area, which leaves only a small section of that side, and all of that side. Which, god, even the tree isn't that high, so I can't really use the tree all too much. I've got all these harpies after me, though. So I think, for this episode, I'll cover this side of the map. And if you guys uh, list me some things that I should be doing next, because like I said, I don't know what I am to be doing next. Oh, I actually went quite far that time. Here we go. But yeah, like I said, list me uh, things for me to do because, like I said, I'm not, I've am not i never played this far into, into Terraria, so... Uh, at least not solo. I mean, I've played with friends before, but that was kind of uh, unguided and just messing around kind of thing, and we never really played much for getting far into the game. So for now, I've got these harpies to deal with, don't I? Well... Oh, right, that was the wrong thing, but that's still funny enough to use. Harpy, guess what? I've got magic, so screw you. 
Okay, yeah, gonna get rid of the water scepter for now because that's completely unnecessary. And I'm just gonna start building this out, so. Oops. Once I build this out far enough, oh god. As I was saying, once I build this out far enough, I'll do my little jump. Okay. God, it's hard enough hitting that one. Oh yeah, because I can control my magic bolts. Ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't use up that much magic either, which is which is kind of cool. No, get away. Actually, this is probably just as effective, if not more effective. Loud, but effective. Forgot what I can do with feathers as well, but not a big, not a big problem there. I'm not nowhere close to a jumping point yet. I see one of them is only extremely low health. That one down there. Hey, you come here. There you go. Put you out of, out of your misery. As long as they stay down there, I'm quite fine with that. If they come up here, though, that's a bit of a problem. No, don't hit me with your laser beams. Oh yeah, I forgot I can spam this as well. I wouldn't recommend spamming it, though, because you lose so much magic that way. I still, I'm still yet to see what my uh, magic my uh, magic cap is. Yeah, I, I was saying that right. I was just wasn't too sure. Okay, so time to do my run and jump. So actually, let me get rid of you first because I know you're gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, see you later. I'm going for my jump now. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, if this doesn't cover uh, a lot of the map, I don't know what will. Have to keep an eye on the top left as well, because I know there's a chance that something will just go by the screen and I'll miss it. Well, I haven't seen anything yet, so... Come on, Magic Island. There should be at least three, of, three to five, I think, is what the medium world should have. Oh, that, that's a normal tree. <laughs> Okay, so what I checked so far with that sky, small slither, I don't think there'll be anything in that, but we probably should check it though. But, I built another bridge, oh, damn I flew far. <laughs> uh, I'll build another bridge a little bit further out and I'll try another jump again. I might uh, do this myself uh, without recording, just to see if I'll find anything and then I'll start recording again once I do find something of value. But uh, yeah, list what you want me to do in the series, or later down in the series in the comments, and I'll, I'll get back to doing it. Oh, I won't get back to doing it, I'll get to doing it. Because like I said, I'm kind of, like, I, I've ran out of what I know what to do. Like, I know to defeat the dungeon guy, and the Eye of Cthulhu, and then there's the, uh, the guy down in the... Uh, corruption area, which I still haven't beaten yet, which I might attempt to do shortly. But other than that, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing, I don't know what I'm meant to be making. But, so, any advice, any tips like that would just be great. So I'll do one more jump, and I'll end the episode, and then I'll go and find it for myself. But actually, I want to do the jump from here, because, I don't know, there's a chance that there's something there. There's always a chance of something in the darkness, so, and I'm here to find it. Should be a easy enough uh, run or jump spot. Okay, if that doesn't give me enough height, I don't know what will. I doubt there'll be anything here, but I just wanted to check for myself. Just to see... Did I seriously fly all the way over? <laughs> God damn it, Brad. Okay. Well, that wasn't the one last jump I really wanted to do for you guys, but... I land, jump... I'm getting quite good at the movement. Like, going to become that was pretty badass, you have to admit. So, I don't really have to do a big jump to get off that, to check. I don't think there's anything in there, but I'm just gonna... I'll do that small little spot, and then I'll end the episode, and I'll find it myself. So, yeah, it would- oh god, harpies. So it should be in here, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, if there is something in here. 
Those harpies look really, really weird. Ow, don't hurt me. Well, <laughs> there's nothing in here. Sad face. So that means I've got that small section left and I've got the other half of the map. And I think I'll, I think I'll end it here actually. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.